For me, landscape photography and wild camping have always gone hand in hand. The ability to pitch your tent in a spectacular location, ready for sunset or sunrise, enables you to take your time and be in the best places at the best time to take images. It had been a long time since I'd last ventured out with my tent, so in a couple of days of fine weather were forecast, I decided to head north to Assind and the spectacular mountain of Coolmore in Inverpolly for my first wild camp since moving to Scotland. Today is actually quite a special day because it's going to be the first time that I've been out for a wild camp in almost three years, which I hadn't realised until this morning when I was trying to work out when the last time I went camping, uh, or wild camping at least was, and actually the last time was when Hannah and I went out together in the Lake District, and of course with the pandemic, you know, that put paid to an awful lot of our, our planned trips, and so that trip actually was back in 2019. Um, so. It feels really good to be out again with a tent and a big bag and I'm out here for a quick overnight or I've actually come up to Ascent and my plan today is actually to hopefully climb Coolmore which is this mountain here um, and Coolmore is a fantastic mountain here in uh, in the Polly and it's it's got some stunning views from the top of it looking out over to Sullivan I've already had a few glimpses of Sullivan on my 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 way over here um, but it's got fantastic views of Sullivan and Stack Polly, and it's also got some amazing rock formations at the top there. Um, and I thought, as soon as the weather, well, the last time I went out was a couple of weeks ago when it was we had that snow up on uh, up in the Coolin Forest, and it's complete contrast today. It's a gorgeous weather today, absolutely beautiful. It's wonderful and sunny. Um, the only snag is it's actually been really quite windy, and I'm worried there's going to be quite a lot of wind up on the top of a mountain so it might be that I can't camp right on top of a mountain if it's a bit too windy I might have to pop down um, there's this uh, bila here and a, and a, and a gully um, sort of glen that's running down from the bila so that might be a possible place that will have, be a bit more sheltered for me to camp but we'll see how it goes and, and also like I say this is the first time in a long time I've been out um, with a big bag um, and the tent and to be honest I'm not as fit as I was a few years ago um, my fitness has definitely dropped so we'll see how far I get um, there's a few options if I can't get all the way up to the top but I'm hoping I can because there's some stunning views up there So I've just managed to find a little spot here which is just a little bit sheltered from the wind so I can I can talk to you guys because otherwise the mic's picking up way too much wind but oh I can't tell you how happy it makes me to be here. And this is really I guess what I was most looking forward to to my time up here in Scotland was just coming to places like this and being able to, to visit them and um oh just I just love it it's so so beautiful um Ascent is I think in my opinion one of the most spectacular areas of the UK there's so much wilderness here and it's just gorgeous mountains um some of these mountains like uh, like Sullivan here behind me um you know they're not the biggest mountains in the UK Sullivan and Coolmore as well they're not Munro's so they're below 3,000 feet but they're so spectacular and also just the other side of, of Coolmore which I'm hoping I get a nice view of once I get up onto the top of the mountain is Stack Polly which is definitely frequently described as probably one of the finest small mountains here in the UK and um yeah just just coming here is just it just really kind of reiterates why we moved up to Scotland really um, this place is in my blood and it makes, it, it just has that kind of calming effect on the soul, I find. Um, these kind of landscapes, I know a lot of people find them a little bit daunting, a little bit oppressive, but for me, I'm, I'm so at home here, I really am, and uh, it just feels good to be back.
I don't know if he's going to be able to hear me at all because of this wind, but I've made it to the summit of Coolmore. And to be honest, I'm actually really quite proud of myself because I wasn't entirely sure if I'd be able to make it up here with the pack. And um, there's a tough bit towards the last, there's a steep boulder field and I had to sort of make my way up. And it's, you know, under normal circumstances, it would be fine, but with a big heavy pack and then a strong wind, it was touch and go, but actually it didn't last very long. And just, oh, it feels so good to be up here. Anyway, like I said, I don't know whether you're going to be able to hear at all any of this audio. Uh, but the views up here are stunning and I've got my first glimpse now of Stack Polly as well which is just from this angle it's so dramatic it's utterly amazing up here so my next task is to try and find somewhere that's going to be suitable to put up a tent and I need to try and find somewhere that's not going to be too buffeted by the wind um, and hopefully just provide a bit of cover overnight as well um, what I can see from here is these rock formations are just down here along the ridge I think probably what I'll do is, is find somewhere where I can sort of create a kind of base camp and I've heard that there's more good rock formations further along this ridge but I'd like to have to sort of not travel too far from the tent if I can just because I'm a lazy sort of photographer but also because I don't have a second bag with me I don't want to lug the big rucksack with me all, all the time um, so I'm going to see if I can find somewhere that's not too exposed where I can put the tent up um, leave everything and then I've got quite a lot of time up here um, it's now five o'clock or coming up to five o'clock so I've got a few hours before sunset so it gives me time just to get everything set or get camp set up um, there's no one else up here I've got the place entirely to myself this evening so I'm not going to bother anyone I'm going to get the, the tent set up and uh, yeah maybe a cup of coffee and then I'm gonna have a little bit of a scout around and sort of see if I can find some good compositions for, for sunset. Which, to be honest, it'd be hard for sh not to find good compositions. Pretty much anywhere you point the camera here, it's stunning. So I think I've found quite a good spot to pitch the tent. It's just off the main path, so it's not, well, there isn't anyone here, but just in case anyone comes up later on this evening, yeah, it's not too much in view. Um, and it's just down here, I've got a little bit here. It's not particularly even ground, but um, I didn't bring a pillow with me to save on weight today. And there's a little bit of a knoll here, which I'm hoping is gonna, gonna actually act as a, as a natural pillow. Um, and I think it's fairly safe to say that this evening, I'm probably gonna have one of the best views in the country. There's going to have this wonderful view out towards Stack Polly. Um, and we've got the summer isles out there as well. Um, so that's where I'm going to set up a tent. It's also, it's quite nicely sheltered. Um, I've checked the weather forecast and the wind's not forecast to change direction much. It might just swing slightly further around to the north. And uh, this spot here is well protected. Um, the summit's actually just here. That's the summit. But we've got these rock formations which are just creating a little bit of a shelter from the wind so it's actually not too bad a spot and then the other thing is there's some really good compositions around here as well um, probably the main composition which I came here for is a view of um, Sullivan with these wonderful Torridonian sandstone rock formations in the foreground and it is a composition I've seen before actually there's a, a photographer called Graham Mackay um, who is a brilliant photographer and actually He's got an image of Sullivan with these rock formations and there's also these lenticular clouds in the sky and lenticular clouds are kind of the same shape as the rock formations and I've got to say it's actually one of the, the finest landscape images that I've seen um, I would say so definitely go and check out Graham's work um, but yeah I like to give a bit of a shout out when I get, get inspired by other photographers for compositions I do like to give a little, little bit of a shout out so I'm quite happy to give Graham a little bit of a shout out on that composition rather than claiming it for myself um, but yeah really looking forward to this evening I've got a few hours now before sunset so I'm gonna get the tent set up and I'll probably get a cup of coffee on and uh, then hopefully some food and after that hopefully it'll be time to start getting the, the camera out and doing a little bit of photography
we're just starting to come into the golden hour now and we're just starting to get some nice light. Um, I'm expecting this light to get better and it's still very yellow at the moment. I'm hoping it's going to go a nice sort of pink as the evening progresses. But uh, I thought I'd come and just start scouting out this shot and working out which comp compositions work. And I've started with this one and I think this is really kind of a shot I had in mind for coming here. And so I thought if I start with this, at least get one or two shots in the bag and then start experimenting with some other compositions. Um, but it's working really well. Um, the thing I like about this, this image is we've got these lovely shaped rocks in the foreground. This is this Torridonian sandstone which have created these kind of really nice kind of discs. And it's very, it reminds me a lot of Dartmoor. Um, I've seen these similar stone patterns in, in Dartmoor and it's very, very similar. Um, and then I've got Sullivan in the background. We've got a wonderful, wonderful panoramic view up here. We've got Sullivan, that's Quinaig over there in the distance as well, uh, and Canisp. Um, and then the sun's starting to go down, it's getting lower towards the horizon. I think the lower it gets, the better the light's gonna, gonna be. But I still want to catch these rocks in the foreground, Russ, we're just catching a little bit of light. So I thought I'd start off taking some shots and then we'll see what happens. I might come back here as the sun gets a little bit lower. So I've just come up just a little bit closer to the edge here and I'm um, really trying to use these sort of interestingly shaped rocks in the foreground and make some nice interest there. Um, I mean it's just such a such an incredible scene. It's pretty pretty hard not to make a good composition if I'm honest so yeah absolutely stunning. But yeah I think actually coming forward has helped I think to, to really kind of emphasise these rocks. Um, when I was a bit further back I felt like they were just getting a little bit lost so I think coming forward was a was was a good move. Um, and I've just got the camera tilted down a little bit so the horizon is on the, the top third of the image. And then Sullivan is kind of the main the main interest. But yeah, beautiful. I think this light now is just starting to hit that magic moment. So the other thing which I thought I would do because, well, why not, is I've just gone for a, a nice wide panorama of Sullivan and um, it's absolutely beautiful. This, this light is starting to really come good now. I'm slightly worried there's a little bit of cloud up on the horizon so um, I'm going to work quickly in case we lose the light. I just want to get some shots in the bag. I mean, once I've got a couple of shots in the bag, I start to just calm down a little bit. It's just always that little bit of kind of frantic bit whilst you're just trying to get get the shots ticked. And then you can calm down and start to take your time a bit more. Um, I've got a few shots which I want to take here, but I still want to head over to the other bit of the mountain as well and take some shots looking over to Stack Polly. So um, I'm going to get a move on whilst this light is good.
so I'm having to work really, really quickly because this light is disappearing so quick. Um, this is one of the other um, compositions which I'd scouted out earlier. We've got this kind of leading line um, created in the rock here heading up towards Sullivan. And um, the wind's picking up a little bit too, actually, so I'm just having to watch what my camera strap is doing. But it's, uh, yeah, absolutely beautiful. I just fired off a couple of quick images and um, but I'm going to move on and see what other compositions I can get. I don't know if you can see behind me, but I've got this cloud just whizzing past behind me. And uh, it's absolutely stunning. Absolutely beautiful. I've just popped over here to try and take some shots of Stack Molly, just this last bit of light. And uh, it's really, really blowing a hoolie over here. But it's absolutely beautiful and absolutely stunning. So the eagle-eyed viewers will have noticed that um, I'm no longer camped at the top of the mountain. Um, and that's because despite my assurances yesterday when I was pitching the tent that I was finding something which was nice and sheltered, um, shortly after disappearing into the tent, the winds picked up and actually became really, really very strong. And it actually got to the point where uh, I think it was becoming a little bit dangerous for me to me to stay where the tent was kind of on its last legs. So I made a difficult decision at about two o'clock in the morning to pack up camp and actually come down, uh, back down into, well I'm about halfway down the mountain now. Um, which is a shame, but sometimes it's just not worth, just not worth a risk. And I was having that debate of is it better just to stay in the tent and ride it out um, and it just it just kept getting worse and worse and worse and worse so anyway I decided I'd retreat so I'm back down here back down um, in the gully um, and it's far more sheltered down here so I actually managed to get a couple of hours sleep which is good um, and now I'm just taking a few images at sunrise we've got what looks like there might be a bit of a temperature inversion going on over there in the distance so I've just fired off some some um, shots with uh, the 24-25 zoomed right out just to try and capture those layers and that that mist off there in the distance and we've also got a rather beautiful moon as well which is probably looking a bit small here um, we've got Angelic over there in the distance so I've just been taking a couple of kind of blue hour shots um, I'm kind of hoping that this doesn't turn into a full-blown uh, temperature inversion if I'm honest because I'd be really disappointed if I was up on top of a mountain and then missed that over Sullivan but um, I think given my lack of sleep um, and the fact of it's not a long drive home but I've got a bit of a drive home still and I think it would be sensible for me to go back up the mountain um, so I'll probably take a couple of shots around here have some coffee and some breakfast and uh, then I think I'll call it a day
Well, I'm much more awake now. I've just had a had a cup of coffee and uh, and some porridge, and uh, it's warmed me up and woken me up, and uh, I'm feeling much better. So, yeah, um, it's actually quite nice here, just sitting here and in, enjoying the sunrise without worrying too much about f- photography. Um, from this sort of v- viewpoint where my my I've repositioned the tent to. Um, apart from those sort of shots which I took earlier, I don't think it's really worth getting the camera out. So I'm just sitting here and enjoying the sunrise and it, it makes a nice change because normally when the sun is rising I'm running around taking photos so actually quite enjoying it. So um, yeah, really pleased actually that I did decide to move down here. We haven't had that temperature inversion. I think if we'd had a big temperature inversion around the mountains here, around Sullivan and those mountains I was photographing yesterday and Stack Polly, I think um, I think I would have been feeling a bit grim because I would absolutely love to photograph those mountains under those conditions. Um, but as it is, I can tell there's, there's still a wind blowing up the top of the mountain there, um, and it's nice and calm down here. So I'm, I'm just enjoying my morning and warming up and feeling good that I'm, I put that effort in in the middle of the night and moved myself down here. But anyway, I think um, I'm going to end this video here. It's been uh, well, I'd normally say it's been an amazing trip by, by this stage. I'd say it's, it's been a tricky one, this one. Um, definitely one of the harder nights I've had with an overnight camp. Um, but it's still been absolutely amazing. And you know, I really, really enjoyed that photography last night. I think I've got some images which I'm, I'm pretty happy with. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.